Hey people, what's going on? So I'm back to uh, do an, a review. As I told you, I wanted to do a more <clears throat> um, specific re review for BB June, BBJR's album. I did what I could with what I had. And um, I'm just going to talk a few minutes about this uh, this new album by... My, I, I can call him a friend, you know. It's a long distance friend. We've played uh, two shows together now on two different tours that he's come through Omaha on and Bob I really like Bob a lot and he's a very talented um, and heart got a lot of heart Bob Bucko Jr. is his name and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this record because um, Bob is the sort of person who you might discover or you may never hear about but he's worth discovering and it has something to do with why he's on Capture Records. Some of you folks know this label for some of the um, more well-known artists that they uh, carry and their records are collectible. The people at Capture Records really like Bob Buckle Jr. and that has a lot to do with why they put his records out. I can understand why. Um, I played this for a friend yesterday who stopped by. Um, and we ended up listening to the whole first side because it had that much of a positive effect on our visit and also my friend's reaction to the music. It's primarily Bob on electric guitar, sparse, um, spatial, not space in the sense of effects, but more like a lot of space in between the notes. Um, it's like it feels like sitting you're sitting in a room sorry about the light on this I tried to fix it you know and it's god damn stuff um, it's like you're sitting in a room with Bob while he's playing I'm really sorry about the shitty picture folks okay I'm gonna keep going try to adjust the camera next time um, there are other players on the album notably um, a young saxophonist by the name of Kurt Oren who I've also worked with that plays on here. Um, before I played the album, I said to my friend, maybe you could classify this as outsider folk art or folk jazz. I'll leave the link below. You can listen to Bob online on Bandcamp or on Capture Records. This is a, this is a painting on the cover. It's a painting which is very nice, very nice painting. Someone that Bob knows. And um, I can't play this for you, but you can listen to it online, streaming. I didn't pay attention to the words yet. I think it'll make a difference to the listener, what he's saying. But there's a whole lot of feeling in the way that Bob play he gets a really clear beautiful tone out of his guitar he doesn't pick like him but John Fahey comes to mind when I think about Bob's playing now the last time we were here Bob and I visited here at the house for a time and um, listened to some music and he shared with me that part of his approach what he's trying to do is akin to in his mind Albert Eiler which he doesn't sound like Albert Eiler, that's not what he's saying, but the approach, which is to try and get past the head and go directly here, or to the the center of the person and let the music come from there. After seeing Bob play live twice now, I'd say that he is pretty good at achieving this. The music has a lot of feeling and depth, and it just kind of brings you into it. If you listen to it, it just kind of brings you into his world. I have another album of his that I reviewed in the past. I like this one even better. And um, I'll leave a link to his Bandcamp page as well as to Capture Records. Um, I actually highly recommend this. Now, if it weren't for my total sensibilities when it comes to music um, this would be one of my records of the year but Muse plus minus and now that I've listened to it even more Stephen Wilson's hand cannot erase those are 
two of my definite albums of the year for this year so far. But this is a really good album to come out this year, and I highly, I think that folks would do well to give Bob a listen. Uh, I think some of you will discover that you really like him. The other thing I like about Bob is that Bob's real. He's genuine and he's honest. I like honesty. I can appreciate it. It gets me a lot further than smarmy uh, butt kissing. And, you know, Bob likes my music, but he's also honest with me about what he thinks about my music, which is good and helpful because we, as an artist, you know, or as a person who makes stuff, what it means to me really never translates. And sometimes hearing from folks who don't really get what you get can, it can be a discouragement and it can also be an encourager. Coming from other artists, um, other artists who I respect and who show me through their works, you know, they know what they're talking about, I respect, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Bob's opinion of, of my music, I respect, and it means a lot to me that he's actually bought my records, but it also means a lot to me that he's given me honest feedback about it, you know what I'm saying? Not butt kissing. It means a lot more to me. So, Discover B.B. Jr., Bob Bucko Jr. I did what I could with what I have. If you happen to be watching, Jim, it came in, the Ip Man that you told me about, and I have only played a little bit of this, so this will be coming up in the next video as far as the review. I really appreciate this. I like it upon first listen. Sounds like the drum and bass, which seemed to be dead for a while. This is what's happening with it now, and I'm liking it. The only other thing I'll say right quick is I've been, well, I've been busy with a lot of stuff, and some things I can share is that I recently got hired to write the soundtrack for a very small budget horror film. I've been talking about this. Um, I submitted my ideas, the first idea for a theme. He didn't like it, he rejected it, which again is, is, is good for, it's good to, for an artist, <laughs> a musician to, to get honest feedback, you know. So I had to go back to the drawing board and um, the fourth one that I submitted, um, he liked and so I got the job it's not a big paying job but I need the work and I also um, at this point am ready and liking the challenge I was approached to do this movie maybe a year or two ago and I said I wasn't interested because I really don't like horror especially don't like gore this thankfully this movie is not too gory but honestly um, the filmmaker produced approached me again recently we sat down again looked at it again i was you know flattered that you know he, he you know even though he doesn't have much money but that he would pursue me again um i appreciated that and um it's a good challenge for me to see if i can come up with what he wants and already i've come up with a theme so that's come that's going on playing with some new musicians and uh some really young musicians like like 19 and 20 year olds that i just met through um the musicians, the, the guys that I'm playing with in this article that I showed you, and we jammed the other night. Met a new, uh, met a young guitarist and trumpeter. They blew my mind. Um, we're doing the Miles thing now. This is not a very good Miles album, but it's sitting out because it does have about one good side on it. But I've been using this as a reference to a kind of. Um, help mold what it is this band is doing there's a real improv jazz funk thing going on here that really excites me especially because I've met some young cats that younger than my kids that can play and they're listening and they can improvise and they have soul and it's like whoa and my thought was like man I got to get step my game up these guys can read and shit you know and you know they're saying the op they're saying the same thing about me. It's like fuck. We can't believe we're playing with it. You know, I love this. You know, but I'm excited about what what's what's coming up. Okay. Be well, everyone. Make keep it positive as positive as possible. <laughs>